Recently, I've had the opportunity to go out to the Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center to talk to their staff about buying a new kayak. As you know, I'm in the market for a new one and uh, the guys out there really know their stuff. Um, I went out there and filmed a bunch of reviews and test paddled a bunch of new kayaks. So keep watching for the review. Here we have the Jackson Bite. Just from looking at it, you can tell even as a Jackson's entry level line into the kayak fishing world, it's an incredible boat and the value is just insane for what you get. So we'll start at the back here. Right away you can see they've got molded handle grips uh, on the front and back, which make it a lot easier to uh, move around and get into your vehicle or onto your trailer or whatever. You've got here a nice big tank well with uh, bungees. I mean, most kayak crates that are out there now are gonna fit in a tank wall like this. You've got two integrated flush mount rod holders, which you know are gonna keep your rods nice and stable and uh, out of the way while you're fishing or paddling or doing whatever you want. Coming forward, you're gonna see the Jackson Stadium seat. While this one doesn't come with the high-low uh, risers, it does have the trim system. So you can move the seat forward and backwards to fit your preference wherever you want uh, wherever you want your seat and uh, that allows for a lot better uh, customization and just better fitting for the individual paddler uh, for this kayak coming forward again you've got two cup holders here molded in cup holders oh and before i forget they've got molded in slots here so you can put some pads to hold all your hooks uh, that you don't want to use right away or if you're swapping out lures quickly you can stage your hooks quickly onto these pads uh, if you just have to get some foam or something to stick down there. Coming forward here, you've got uh, molded in uh, little compartments for probably most Plano cases are going to fit into here. A lot easier for tackle storage. Of course, easily adjustable foot pedals. Um, it's just a little grip on the back and you can adjust your foot pedals however you want. Here we've got our stand assist strap mount. Uh, it's in this bag right now, but you can tie your stand assist strap here, give it a yank, and then you're standing on this, on this boat. When you come forward, you've got a, a lot of storage up here in the front. Um, there's no in-haul storage for this, but there's a lot of areas here. You can uh, pack a dry bag, whatever you want to keep safe, and then it's nice and secure underneath these bungees. One thing that's cool you don't see on a lot of kayaks from other manufacturers is molded in rod stagers right here. So if you're trying to retie a new lure or do a tie on a leader or do whatever you're doing, you can lay your rod down and it's got a little keeper here so it's not going to be flopping about while you're doing your, doing your thing. Of course, like most Jackson kayaks, integrated rail systems for all your accessories, GoPro mounts, rod holders, whatever you want to put on there, you can put on there. One of the really cool things Jackson has started doing with their kayaks, you see here on the back of the seat, integrated Molly strapping system. That's really cool. For any of you military guys out there or veterans, you're probably familiar with this and you have a whack load of bags that you can strap to this to carry all your stuff. Here you've got bungees on either side of the kayak for you to hold your, your paddle. So it doesn't matter what kind of situation you're in, you can always get your paddle secure on one side of your boat or another. You also have the benefit of this scupper ready transducer hole. You just slip your scupper right in there and then uh, run the wire up through the scupper hole and you're good to go. So that's the Jackson Bite.